Welcome back to the Gopher Pregame Show. Welcome back into the Gopher Pregame Show, everybody. With me now, special guest, a veteran on the defensive line here, Anthony yeah. Smith, joining us. Anthony, we appreciate you taking the time. Uh, thank you for having me. Well, it's been an exciting season for you guys so far. Before we look ahead, let's look back real quick. It was just oh so close against Penn State and the way that game turned out. Mm -hmm. Take me into the locker room at the end of the game. Was it frustration? Was it encouragement knowing that the game was right there? How do you, how does a team deal with a loss like that knowing you were so close? It was a little bit of both. I mean, I feel like at the end of the game, we knew we gave it our all, and that's I mean, that's all you can ask for out of anybody. But um, it was, I mean, it was kind of bittersweet because you know we, the outcome wasn't the way that we wanted to go. But um, and especially for the seniors, because you know it was their um, senior day. But um, again, it's definitely encouraging because we know we we can keep up with teams like Penn State, being number four in the nation. I mean, we know we're a good team, and we know we know we're a really good team actually. So it was bittersweet. What was it like in terms of in-game, in the moment, knowing that you guys, like you said, you were stride for stride with them. What do you think was kind of the difference in the game? Um, I feel like the difference in the game, we knew we could play with them. I mean, again, like I told you, we know we're a good team. So that's that's why we that's why we keep up with them because we, we're confident. We all believe in each other and anybody that's on the field. I mean, we're on the field for a reason, and it's all about confidence when anybody steps on. Looking ahead to the regular season finale, it's the biggest game of the year seemingly every single season here for the University of Minnesota. Wisconsin is on the schedule next. You guys are going to Madison to take on the Badgers. What is it going to take to come out with a victory against Wisconsin? Again, just keeping poised and just staying confident throughout the whole entire game. Again, like you said, it's the biggest game of the season. and. Um, I mean, playing for the Axe is super exciting. I remember being like a fresh. I remember being a freshman, um, Mar Mariana, sorry, Marin, uh, playing and like seeing his excitement and just staying excited the whole entire time. I mean, that's pretty easy again because it's the Axe game. But now just staying confident, poised, and just playing football. Walk us through this rivalry. It just like like you were saying, the juices kind of flow a little extra when Wisconsin and you guys go head to head on the field. Just how important is the Axe to the players and to this program? Oh, it's so important. And I it's so important to the program. It's important to the whole state of Minnesota. I mean, you, like you said, it's the biggest game of the season. It always ends up being the biggest game of the season because it's Minnesota versus Wisconsin. And um, growing up in an East Coast kid, um, I didn't know how big the rivalry was. And I, I found out my freshman year, this is the longest rivalry game in college football history. Mm -hmm. And um, and again, going back to my freshman year, seeing seeing like the tears from all the players, all the seniors, all the coaches after winning the game. At Mass in my freshman year, it, it definitely changed my mind on this is like really, this means a lot. And then getting to hold the axe, that, that was really special, certainly my freshman year. And um, it, again, it just seems like it's so powerful when you're holding it and then actually playing it, it's, it's, it's a really special thing. You said you're from central Pennsylvania. Yeah. So how did you end up at the University of Minnesota? Tell the fans what the recruitment process was like for you. I'm sure you had a ton of offers, but how did you ultimately land on Minnesota? Um, it was funny. It just popped up in my memories a few weeks ago. But um, Minnesota, they sent me an edit of like this, like the football team, and then this flying around on the football field, and I was like, whoa, like this looks this looks fun. And then um, I ended up getting recruited, and um, we ended up talking for a bunch of weeks. And um, Coach Fleck, I talked to Coach Fleck probably every single week throughout recruiting, and then he finally offered me, and I um, I only took one official visit. I, I knew this place was home, so. You knew it that, that right away? I knew it was home. Uh, it took me literally a weekend to decide that this is a place that I wanted to be for my whole college career. And now this season, you're having a heck of a season. You had your third straight game with at least one sack last week against Penn State. What has the season been like for you? How have you seen yourself grow as a player? Um, definitely with confidence. Me in the beginning, of the beginning of the season, I started off hot with a sack, and um, I kind of got cold throughout the season. But this having all my guys be around me and telling me to stay confident, always telling me what I can tweak to get better, that definitely kept me in and kept my head in it. Yeah. Joe Rossi leaves for another job. Corey Heatherman takes over as the defensive coordinator. You're smiling already when I just mentioned his name. You guys have been about as consistent as it gets on the defensive side of the ball. What's it been like playing for him, and what have you noticed about playing in his type of scheme? I, I love it. I mean, he, um, you call him Mr. ESV. <laughs> Excitement, <laughs> swarm, and violence. Uh, I like that. And um, nah, his, his, energy went, his energy, the whole defense is contagious. It's so fun playing with him. 
And um, the way that our defense is set up, it definitely helps me out because all it's, it's it's just super fun. Like I just can't stop smiling about it because it's just, it's fun playing for them. Overall, as a team, you know, you guys sit here as we're speaking right now. You sit here at six and five overall. You got one game left. How would you summarize the season and, and how it's been? Would you say that this team has met expectations, fallen short of expectations? Well, what is what is kind of the notion with this team right now as you guys sit here at six and five? Um, we just take we just take we just took every single game. It was a one game championship and um and we've executed on it, yeah. Um I I mean, I think for all the players, I, we've all grown so much closer together. I mean, I've definitely made so many lifetime friends this season, and not even like just in the defensive line room or on the defense side of the ball. Quinn Carroll, Max Brosmer, I, I mean, I can really text those guys whenever, and they can really get anything for me. Even um, Daniel Jackson, I mean, like it was. Um, I mean, even though it didn't happen, um, Daniel Jackson said something to me at halftime, and it really stuck with me. And I, it's just like those moments that it's like, dang, like these are like going to like be my forever friends. Did you care to share what he said at halftime, or is that something you want to keep it's, personal? It's a little personal. Okay, no problem. That's okay. no problem. We live in a world of NIL now. It's a it's a different world that we live in in college football. How do you balance knowing your love of being a, a Golden Gopher with, you know? what could be out there for you in the transfer portal? I mean, what, how do you balance those thoughts and conversations? And um, like I, know, I know my family's here. I mean, I love Minnesota for what it is. Um, I never I never thought that I wanted to leave. I never really had doubts that I wanted to leave. I, again, I have Coach Fleck. I have Coach Winston. I have, I have everybody here, and I, I don't know why I'd want to go anywhere else. <laughs> Anthony, we certainly appreciate you taking the time. Thank Continue you. to help the success the rest of the way. When we come back.